Well, back to the Airdrie football manager, Kurt Eremo, and things are looking bleak after such a good start in the Betfred, or the, the Premier Sports, or the, the fear play, whatever they want to call it, man, right? It's the pishy league squad. League squad, league cup, man. But look at this. No, noble criticism. We believe that Graham Weir's wage is too high in relation to his importance to the squad. He's on like 200 quid a week, right? I'm on way more than that. And, uh, and I'm not talking about from the manager's point of view. I'm talking about my real job, damn it. But we're taking on Queen of the South. Um, you know what? If we win, higher bonuses unavailable due to transfer budget restrictions. Fuck me. Yes, the club's shite. This club has lost its way. This club never had the way to lose, to be honest. But, I mean, we've got, what, 14 players, Danny? We have a few injuries. We're fucked. I don't understand why I can do anything. You know? I, re I, re I really don't. Really fucking don't, but we're going to get stuck in. We're going to try our best. If we can't beat Queen of the South, then we have issues. So our signing big Weir is on the substitution bench. Says two to nine. So does that mean he's not available? I, I don't really know. I don't really know to be honest. But we're going to get stuck in, right? We're going to lay the smack down. See what happens. Fitness probably is going to be an issue. Even though they all look alright, part for Watson at the back. We're going to see what the crack is. I am going to go for. Gonna go two one Queen of the South. Yes, I know Ferry defeat is picking against the club, brother. But you know, I don't see us winning. I don't. I, I'm looking forward to getting into the league and see what the fuck I, what's gonna happen in there. Cause I don't know. The, the, the cup's just not happening. It's whipped in. Smith can't go on to it. It's Taylor Sinclair, come on, Erdry, come on, the fuck McMaster. McMaster to Telfer. Tried to go for like a long shot. Valentine wins it. Only as far. Up the pitch in Telfer. Valentine launches a ball forward. Jameson can't win it. It's literally just long ball football, but it's through to Jameson. And he really should be at least getting that on target. I understand he's probably got a shift to do in the fucking co op or something, but come on. I don't understand why he can't do better there. I mean, I could do better. I'm a fair best. Come on, McCaster. Watson. Shite, man. These highlights are bleak. And it's 1-0, Queen of the South. Lee Connolly with his second goal of the season. Absolutely rifles it in. Off the crossbar from a free kick. And it's... Can't really defend. I mean, the goalie could probably do better if we're going to be critical about it. But McMaster gave away the free kick. And we now set 1 0 down with fucking no hope in this group. I mean, some of the second place teams do go through, but I don't think they let the fifth place teams go through, so it doesn't really matter for our situation. But it's through to Jameson. Fucking get to it, dick! Frizzle. Frazzle. Frizz Duke, man, what was that? Patton for Queen of the South. What, I mean, he's, he's just put it the ball straight at the goalie for like a Roberto Carlos angle and the goalie's near let it in. I mean, fuck me, they've actually got people in wheelchairs there. They've went into full proper design here. Connolly, can't quite date, it's Katunga. But Frizzle's won it. But he's just getting no pace. We need to sign someone with pace, someone who's young and can just fucking run for days. But look at that, man. I mean, we're dominating possession, we're dominating the shots, but we just can't get fucking hee haw in the back of the net. Half time in this game, fitness is an issue. I'm not going to make subs just yet. McAster's obviously booked, gave away that fucking free kick. I mean, that's thing, like, if you get a draw, you can get two points because of the penalty thing. But not, not, not if you get beat, like. And it's just not good enough. I'm sorry. I see what they've went for with this group stage, but, like, it's just going to be very hard for a team that's, like, low down in the divisions to make it through a group. Of teams that are like four or five divisions higher than them, like in terms, of, like say they're non-league, you know, or even if you're League Two, I mean, and you get fucking Hibs or Aberdeen, what chance do you got, you know? And what chance do you got when Queen of the South make it two 0 and we are shite? I mean, uh, not even into the league season yet, and I could be the the job could be fucking too much for me. It's time to make some substitutions here. Big Weir coming in for his debut. He's a one-star player. It sums up my. Recruiting ability, and we're going to bring on Salim because you know what? He's he, I think he's pretty, I'm pretty sure he's our top goal scorer this season, so he's going to come on and hopefully, guys, come on, lay the smack down, please. 
A double for Connolly. Gallagher keeps it in. With over three minutes to go. He works the ball into Frizzle. Frizzle can't get on it. It's Gallagher again. Salim the dream. Can't make it 2-1 and you feel like that is it. Any chance of a draw is now at the windy as the game is about to be full time and it's another loss for Airdrie and I feel like that was us bottom of the group. I made a wee joke about fifth place. Well, get used to it. We're in fifth place and you know what? How how, how can I how can I be pleased? Pleased? I don't even know I don't even know what league queen of the side for in, right? But it's not like they're all, you know, semi finalists of the Champions League every fucking year, like, you know. Uh, Queen of the South actually go through? That's insane. And that's another thing. We've played one more game than every team in this group and we sit fourth. Fucking hell. Urgery mm -hmm. manager slams team. No wonder, mate. They're fucking shite. Get a friendly up against Balamina United. Now, if we get beat by Balamina United, that may be the final fucking nail in the coffin, like, because that just wouldn't be good enough. It really wouldn't be. Partick Thistle have made an offer of 10 and a half grand for Calm Smith. The transfer may eventually rise to 15 grand. No, I don't even know. Who, I don't even know who Callum Smith is. It says that like, yeah, this guy's the rock. I don't, I, we can't afford to get rid of anyone. Like, well, we don't even have a youth team for fuck's sake. How can I even afford to get rid? Of, you don't have a youth team, right? How, how can I actually realistically afford to get rid of anyone? Like, there, there's no one. Our chairperson's Martin Ferguson, a 79-year-old fucking coffin dodger. What, what? 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 And our assistant manager plays for the club. Head physio is called JD Peacock, and I'm expected to do stuff with this team. Aye, job centre. There we go. Holy good. We actually. Wait, what? Well, I mean, if that doesn't sum up how bad the Northern Irish League is, we have beat Balamini in a 8 4. I, we are a team that couldn't fucking score to save a duck, and we've beat them 8 4. 8 fucking 4. Leeds United have accepted a proposal to play at us in a friendly. Boom, that's what I like to see. That's exactly what I like to see, because that means we can rake a bit of fucking money in. I confirm. Nah, that's it, man. Got Leeds up next. Erdry against the mighty Leeds, brother. What can this be? Erdry against Leeds. What a fucking match. The penny cars. I don't know if it's experienced any murders before, but this game sure as hell will be that. And what is the final score going to be? I'm going with 13-1, Leeds United. That's what it's going to be. 13-1, what a score prediction. And I don't even think I'll be far off it. What? They only beat us 3-2? 3-2? They're only beating us 3-2? What? And it's the first league game of the season. I mean, considering we just took Leeds pretty close... How about we take Peter Head even closer and we get a win, eh? Up at Peter Head. Big, fuck me, they've actually all player faces, Peter Head. What is going on? But the league begins here. There's about two people in the fucking stadium. So let's see how it goes. I don't think the Erdre fans have bothered making the trip north. But, uh, ah, well, as long as we win, doesn't matter how many people turned up. 42 minutes in. Still nil nil. Peter Head, though. We brown. On the ball, back to Hifzala. A long shot drags it wide of the post. But that's exactly what we like to see. McMaster for Erdre. Back to Fordyce, the assistant manager. Playing at the back of the club. Sums up. What is going on? McMaster looks so fucking cheaply. Like, I mean, how are you supposed to take this club to the Champions League? Like, when it, it can't even take itself to the fucking the Bon Bon. It's embarrassing. McGill on the ball. Smith. Gallagher. Whips it across. Jameson can't get on it. McMaster goes for a header. But Richie. Not quite Lionel Richie. It's just a pretty jobber save here. And now it's dies. Ryan dies through to Brian. And please don't. He blazes it over. Thank God. I need some sort of a positive result to end this episode. Even though three two against Leeds, I think actually is pretty good. Like, but you know, we need something a wee bit better than that.
it's Ballantyne on the ball the four dice up to Frizzle we're going for it we're thinking about it we're going back the way we've bottled it we thought about it for about three seconds but the horse is gone Watson long ball up to Smith McGill wins it but now it's back to Smith McGill wins it again it's some putrid fucking football on display here up at Peterhead not good Watson the four dice to tell for thought he was going to lose that very cheaply but I mean right we can score two goals against Leeds United but we can't score a goal against Peterhead I just don't see how that's even like how that's even possible to be honest like and I played I mean we only have 14 players to choose from but I did definitely I started with a weaker team and players out of possession against Leeds cause just due to fitness issues but it's Jameson I mean the goalie leaves about three quarters of the net wide open and this prick hits out the stadium. Like, come on. Is it? He's gave a penalty. And he's gave a penalty to Erdry. I was kind of wondering what the hell was going on there. But it, it's Telfer. He puts the ball down. And he makes it 1-0 to the Erdry Onions. And you know what that means? The bus is getting fucking parked. And it's not leaving the station. Because why the hell would I even attempt to do that? Because that's what we're going to go for. Very defensive. We are going to park the bus and hopefully get a peer head with three points. Peer head with a corner to Keith on the ball. Or Dice clears it. It's Hef Salah. Looking for a goal. It's Wilkie. Long shot, but Liness saves it. And surely now we have a minute and a half to go. Erdry can hold on here and scrape this 1 0 victory. Get us off to an absolute phenomenal start here because I was expecting a few straight L's, but. We've got 30, we've got 10 seconds, we've got, we've done it, we've beat Peter Head. That feels fucking immense. That really does. The team did themselves proud. They're big weir in at the back. People question how much he was on a week. It's 200 quid and they're greeting about it. And uh, aye, that's us, sort it. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for episode 3 of the Erdrick Room. Next time we've got two games, Falker at home and then Queen of the South. Can we extract some revenge on Queen of the South to pump this in the cup? So hopefully we can do it. But you know what? I couldn't have asked for a much better start. The cup was shite. We got a good game against Leeds. Pumped Balamina. And then we started with a win in the league. So episode three has been pretty good. Till next time though. Peace.